Annotation tools and Celebrity Model Checker are made up from either the Markup tool or the Dimension tool. Both of these tools are designed essentially to add basic data to the image associated with an issue. As such, this data is bitmap based and it's a good idea to limit the use of these tools to basic highlighting and identification and clarifying any queries in either the description or the issue comments within the issue details. Some of the rules within Celebri will automatically dimension failures where necessary. Dimensions and markup are both activated from the component handling pull down menu. Or we can press 9 for dimensioning. And then we simply look to the part of the building we want to dimension. So from here to here. And the dimension is placed. You'll see there's various snaps displayed as we move around the building. For edges, corners, intersections and midpoints. But the main thing to remember is the second click is where the dimension is placed. So I go from bottom of the roof this time to the top of the roof. It appears as if nothing's happened, but actually the dimension is placed at this second click point. So I could use my right click, make this wall transparent, and then we can see the dimension inside the building. I'll do a quick tidy up, change the view, and then we'll look at the markup tool. So for this I can press number 8. This activates its own small view and we have several options here. We've got basic annotation tools that allow us to either freehand draw, add text, arrows, lines, clouds, etc. to the model. And these work by clicking on a surface and then stretching the markup to position. So I could add some text, type in the text and you'll see that's placed aligned to the component that I clicked on. Further tools are available that allow us to add component stamps. And these can be configured in different ways. We then have a coordinate stamp, which will give the XYZ location of the point clicked on. We also have the option to place an image so we could do something like click on the roof surface and add our company logo. As with the sectioning tool, in order to save any of our annotations, we need to create an issue within a presentation available in the communication layout.